So sleep, sleep is a very interesting thing. Um, you know, people who get up at nighttime for like snacks and stuff like that, they're actually doing themselves a huge disservice. They're decreasing their melatonin levels every time they eat. Melatonin is required for you to continue to be sleeping, right? Uh, but melatonin is also required for metabolism. All right, so don't eat too late at night. It's not just old wives' tales. It's actually a true thing. In, a, in addition to that, um, there's something called a circadian rhythm diet, which I have a lot of people with dementia on. It's sleep, uh, eating only when there's daylight outside. And the reason is when there's daylight outside, we have activation of vitamin D and all sorts of vitamin A and different receptors in our, in our pathway. And your metabolism is actually the highest when there's daylight outside. Right when the sun goes down, melatonin starts rising. So a lot of people with sleep issues have major serotonin and melatonin issues. One, they can't absorb it in their gut because your gut bacteria activates serotonin and then it activates to melatonin. And that's the most common cause. And two, if they're eating too late at night, that's a big deal, that's a huge deal. And so, and so that also um, contributes to our sleep apnea. Those people who eat too late at night are going to have more sleep apnea episodes because once again, there's a melatonin deficiency and they have obstructive sleep apnea and their oxygen level goes down, then that's gonna cause all sorts of havoc uh, at nighttime. This downward spiral of, of your, your uh, serotonin upregulation is called adrenaline or noradrenaline. And by the time you wake up, you're just tired and you go to work and you're just tired and then you stop recognizing people's faces and stop, start having memory lapse.